Church, I hope you're doing well, and I cannot wait till the day until we return into the building to be back together. Recently, the youth just finished a series on the story of Joseph in the Bible. The guy with the fancy coat, not the guy who married Mary. Married Mary. So, as you know from Sunday school as a child, Joseph was his father's favorite son. Life was going great. He was the favorite son of all the brothers, had a fancy coat to prove it, and not only that, God had told him that he would one day be elect. Kind of a big deal. But then life didn't really go the way that Joseph planned. His brothers beat him up, faked his death, gave the coat back to dad, and sold him into slavery. Not really the way that he thought his summer was going to go. And in a lot of ways, our current situation parallels that of Joseph. Now, I hope that none of your family members have gone crazy enough in quarantine to throw you in a well and smear lamb's blood on your shirt and fake your death to your parents. But after a couple of months in the house, things are getting kind of nutty. But as we sit and continue to wait for whatever normal is going to return to our lives, we find ourselves in the shoes of Joseph of looking back at a past that looks nothing like our present and a future that we'll never return to as we once hoped it might be. And as we navigated this story with Joseph and our teenagers, we hung onto one common phrase throughout the series. When you don't know what to do, do the right thing next. And if you look at the story of Joseph, that's exactly what he did. Whenever life threw him lemons, he made lemonade and chose to follow God in his next step not worrying about the second or third or fourth after that. And as we continue to navigate the uncertainties of these times, what a better message for us than to just worry about the next step we take and praying that God will lead our feet on the next step. And if we follow him there, then the rest of the path will pave itself. I miss you and I love you and I cannot wait to see you again.